Guys, this is Casper with Tape, and today you join me in Eve Orbit with a rather odd looking contraption. This is, in fact, um, just basically a launch vehicle. Uh, it's got a few things on the outside, mainly parachutes, um, because it will be landing. Um, it also has these little deorbit, deorbit engines, and on the side it has, well, they're landing struts and launch struts, um, because I'm planning on landing on Eve and then launching from Eve, hence the huge rocket. I wanted to see if I could do this with kind of a logical-ish looking launch vehicle, because a lot of people have landed and returned from Eve, um, but it's, you know, it's, it's with like huge asparagus staged things, and it's, you know, it's great, but it's not that impressive. Um, annoyingly, the good landing sites kind of, ooh, actually. The landing sites are in the poles. Hmm, those are the best landing sites. There's some on the dark side, but I'd quite like to land on the light side. Um, give me a minute. Okay, I am back with a kind of very inclined orbit. Um, I obviously did that legitimately and not with hyperedit. I didn't in fact fly this out here, I did use hyperedit, so that is why this is a round eve and why I was so e I could so easily change my inclination. But we'll need to... You know what? That looks like a better landing site than the top pole, but you know, I'm not going to do any more hyper editing. Um, maybe one day if I uh, do do this in solar civilization, um, I will uh, do it legitimately, obviously, but I'm not sure if I ever will. Well, maybe I'll have another series just called Eve Base, kind of like Elu Base, but probably better, I'd say. Um, yeah, I did do Elu Base. Elu Base? Elu Base for a while, but uh, that kind of lost steam and I got bored of it. But uh, I'm doing more fun things now, like this. Um, this will completely parachute land, hopefully. It's very easy to land on Eve, it's just quite hard to get off. Um, but yeah, just seeing if I can uh, do something looking logical that will, uh, you know, get to Eve. Oh, get off Eve, it's very easy to get onto Eve. Very, it's, it's a funny thing is, um, Eve's moon gilly, easiest thing to, like, l get off because it has such, such little gravity, because it's like basically an asteroid. Um, and uh, Eve, hardest thing to get off, other than maybe Jewel, but Jewel's not really something you want to be landing on because you can't, because it's a gas giant. <laughs> okay, looks like, if I put this at about 25 kilometers, we'll probably land here-ish. I'm not sure, I never play the, I very, well, very rarely play the stock game anymore, so I have no idea about drag. And I can't, because it's like a really simple um, aerodynamics engine, it's not like I could use this as a lifting body. <laughs> Um, so, we'll just hope, but yeah, 25 kilometers should be good. I haven't actually tested this, I just built it about 10 minutes ago and was like, yeah, this'll work. Um, it is using some of the new parts, the, uh, not the 3.5 meter parts, but some of the more powerful 2.5 meter parts and the big old solid rocket boosters. And we are going way off per a retrograde, that's annoying. Um, why is it tilting off like that? It's completely balanced. Yeah. Um, you can, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this, because I have no, I, the only mods I have are HyperEdit and MechJeb, so I don't have the brightening mod, because this is my stock-ish save, um, yeah, I just have HyperEdit, because for doing things like this, I don't feel much like flying stages out to Eve, and I, well, do have time, but, yeah, it would take a while, actually. Alright, let's deorbit this a little. The uh, orbit. <laughs> there you go. That's pretty much perfect. Who knew? I didn't even plan that. Oh no. Ah. Oh. Well, it'll be fine. I accidentally deployed the parachute because I thought it would break off this stage, but it didn't. Well, the chutes need to deploy at some point anyway. There are drogue chutes, four of them, and uh. I think there are, well, well, there's three there, eight, that's four, so eleven, thirteen other parachutes. Um, most, all but two of them break off. Basically, I've left them on the solid rocket boosters because they did have aerodynamic nose caps, and I know aerodynamic nose caps don't actually do anything in um, the stock game, but uh, I like to use them because I like things looking proper. Um, okay, I'll just, no, oh, it's not throttled up. Shut up. <laughs> um, but yeah. No, it's actually not throttled up. God damn it. Listen to my commands, computer. I command you. Okay. I have very little RCS, and it's... If only there was some kind of 
debug menu that I could just give myself infinite RCS with. Um, this is the stock game, so it won't tear apart or anything, and it won't burn up, obviously. Um, some people uh, say that things tear apart in the atmosphere in the stock game. I'm pretty sure they don't, um, unless you're... Well, obviously, I mean, sometimes they can, but under non-really bending forces, they don't tend to tear apart, so I'm not too worried about that. The only problem would be losing control, but I'm not really, really worried about landing. Um, it should be fine. The landing struts might break, and the parachutes might not be sufficient. That's kind of my main worry. Um, oh, there you go, sunrise on Eve. It looks so nice. Look at all this green down here. Ah, uh, time warp. Ah, oh, damn it. Physical time warp. <laughs> I usually use time warp to lock in my position. God damn it, I should have put a reaction wheel on this. Well, too late now. Or is it? No, I'm not going to do more random editing. Um, wow, I really should have included one. This RCS is useless. Well, actually, it's better than the reaction wheels on the pod, which are overpowered anyway. Um, reaction wheels and Kerbal Space Program, incredibly overpowered. It would be a very kind of annoying game if you had actual reaction wheels where uh, they're very weak and provide very little torque. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's the same kind of deal as having a solar system ten times smaller. It would be very difficult to, well, I, I've proved it's not hugely difficult. Why are my controls inverting? That's not cool. Oh, it's starting to flip under the atmosphere, maybe? Maybe... Oh, I had this problem with a shuttle a while ago. Oh, no, that doesn't help. Yeah, ah, damn it. Yeah, I have lost control of it already, so let's hope the parachutes pull it around. Um, oh, yeah, we're already in pretty thick atmosphere, so we'll just let it tumble. I think we're probably going to come... Yeah, we're coming down on land, so that's good. Um... But yeah, it's like having a ten times smaller... I was saying earlier about they do lots of things like have more powerful reaction wheels and ten times more powerful sol um, ten times smaller uh, solar system because it's for the sake of gameplay because if it wasn't, it would be a really tedious game. Although I do quite like playing in a full-size uh, Kerbin, but I... I remember when I started playing how difficult it was just to get to orbit on normal Kerbin, so it, that, you know, scaled up would be even worse. Oh god, I need to change these pressures, oh, damn, it's altitude to like 3,000 meters because I'd quite like to slow it down earlier. No, you, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> there will be a lot of profanity in this video. Okay, that's two. No. No, oh, damn you burning up. <laughs> I like how it's burning and I'm just trying to focus on the parachutes. God. No, not changing minimum pressure. I will murder you. Yeah, this is usually what I sound like when I'm not on camera. No, ah, stop moving. No, yes. Okay, only one more. Okay, all the parachutes are gone. SAS, lock us in. Um, I know one parachute isn't primed properly, this one. Ah, 2700. Slightly better. No, son of a... No, 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 no. I know it. I'm not that urgent, but it's still, you know, worrying. There you go. A little better. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Looks like we're decelerating pretty nicely. The There is higher gravity on EVE, but a much thicker atmosphere, so... Oh, damn it. So close. So close. There you go. Yeah, there's a much thicker atmosphere, so it's very easy to slow down. The gravity is uh, a little higher, which, you know, doesn't balance it out completely, but, you know, makes it a little more difficult. Um, all of that coupled together makes it very hard to launch from EVE, as you will see, probably. Um, this may not even work, but it, hopefully if it doesn't work, it'll explode, because then I can still turn this into a video. Um, that's basically the rule for playing, for making KSP videos. Uh, if it doesn't work, then, um, uh... That then, if it, if the thing doesn't work, then it, if it explodes, it's still a video. So try to aim for things that work or explode. Okay, we're slowing down. Fine. I don't even know why I was worried about landing. Probably because we're landing a rocket on three landing legs, and I made most of the frame that it will be standing on. So that's why. And we'll be launching into a polar orbit because I didn't think this through. I was just kind of doing it as I go. Um, and it looks like we're landing on a mountain. So that'll be a challenge in itself. Okay, calm down. Oh, I have surface information, I forgot. Thank god I have mech jab. 
I should I could get flight engineer uh, the um Kerbal engineer which gives me all the information without all the tools but I quite like having the tools actually for like hovering and stuff just for mainly hovering um, all right I've got a slow down time warp at three kilometers so it doesn't tear itself apart because that would be horrifying and we'd all be terribly sad after all my not work okay drogue shoots okay I should have said that a little later I should have said it now I sh no drogue shoots activate Nah. Yeah, you see, that was so like they just like pop open a bit. That was so anticlimactic. All right, let's lower the landing legs. Oh, I didn't take into account the high gravity for like standing on the landing legs. Well, let's hope we land somewhere flat, shall we? I have locked the suspension because that if I don't lock the suspension, it'll just fall over. Actually, we're landing, falling at a pretty good speed right now. I mean, <coughs> okay, slow down. Um, oh, I should have picked a higher landing spot because I, there's some like mountains that are seven kilometers high. That would have been a lot easier to land on, a lot easier to launch from. Uh, but it'll be fine. And shoots. Okay, and Ming shoots. Go. Nailed it. That was slightly more impressive. Still falling at ten meters a second. Could be better. I'm not going to ignite that engine because actually I can quick save in the atmosphere now. Fantastic. I love that. They've updated it so you can quick save in the atmosphere, which is nice when returning space shuttles. I've been doing a lot with space shuttles recently. Um, as you may know from my last Solar Civilization episode, um, it gets cooler, actually. To, to shuttle. Wait, is that a hovering rock? I very much hope so. I, don't, I can't actually get out unless I quick save. Oh, no, it's not. The shadow was just deceiving. Looks like we're landing on a slope. Not great. If I touch down and then just fire everything, will that count? <laughs> I want to say yes. Okay, please land. Please don't die. Please don't. So that was good. Uh, <laughs> you know when I said I was worried about landing, and then I was like, eh, landing will be fine. Yeah, I was wrong. Hey, the cobbles are alive. Okay, I have a plan. I have a brilliant plan that can't possibly go wrong. No one has ever had a better plan ever. 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 Oh good, the shoots aren't going. That is fantastic. Go! No, fuck you! Ah, oh, damn! We're going again. Oh, the launch vehicle's going! Yay! That wasn't a total failure-ish. Why wouldn't you quit? Well, that's a bad feature of the quick saving, I have to say. Go! Go! Throttle up! Come on! I am leaving Eve. Okay, I never touched down, but who even cares? And those brilliantly engineered landing struts didn't do anything, but whatever. Okay, fan tabby dozy. Never said that ever. Why do I pick times like this to say stuff? Okay, looking good. I'm a little worried this won't get to orbit. Ugh, oh, at least something exploded, like I say, as long as it explodes. Well, what happened there was I dropped all the parachutes and dropped the launch strut so I could just leave. Okay, we never touched down, but eh. 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 I'll try this again at some point, and it will be better. I don't promise you. Well, that was... Oh, that was eventful. Well, you know, Anfield looks pretty happy. Neil, Bree, and Matwin are brilliant kerbals. Okay, we're about to drop the solid rocket boosters. Let's hope we have sufficient frost. Ha! <laughs> we do not. This is just a clusterfuck. Okay, no, we do. Okay. Wow. I might just call this clusterfuck of failure. Uh, not going great. I, I could call it So You Think You Can Get Off Eve, do you? Oh, I just came up with a video. Probably shouldn't call it clusterfuck of failure. Oh, why am I tipping over so much? Oh wait, this is stock KSP. I don't have to worry about flipping out because of drag. Oh, I love stock KSP. Go! All of the acceleration, or none. Okay. Uh, this is going well, I think. I didn't actually check the gravity on Eve, so I maybe should have, you know, done that. Wait, what's this burning from? Hey, no! This is needed. I forgot that this was decouplers. 
not the cup, the docking ports. Okay, so let's give the fuel back to those. So Eve's really hard to get off, as it turns out. I was really, I really underestimated this. I was like, it'll be fine. I just need a, basically a rocket that's a little bigger than it would usually be. I was wrong. I'd never landed, so, you know, yeah, it's not a great mission, is what it is. But we're rising. We're, you know, not even out of the, not even out of the thick atmosphere yet. But, you know, it'll be fine. Don't worry. Don't you worry. We have no speed. <laughs> uh, you know, and we were almost out on this stage. So, you know, remember when I said you don't need an asparagus stage launch vehicle to cut off Eve? I was wrong. Don't ever listen to my advice. I said, oh. Yeah, there you go. And this has very little acceleration. Well, we're landing on Eve, I guess. You, out. Okay, not that far out. Just repack the chutes. We've got to land. I will retry this at some point with a better vehicle. Hey, we're going up. No, we're not. We're falling. Fantastic. Okay, let's just land on Eve. Well, you guys are going to be here for a very long time. Uh -huh. Oh, man, I should put more planning into these random videos. The random videos are more fun, I feel. Oh, I should probably deploy those parachutes. No. You get parachutes. There we go. Let's land. Maybe I could go take a look at that stuff I broke about six kilometers from here. Oh, I should have done that. See what survived. Wow, this was a really anticlimactic ending. <laughs> Didn't even touch down with the rock. Oh, look, something else is falling. Cool. Ah, it exploded. What? Oh, so the chutes came off. Yeah! survived I just bounced off that thing that was a really cool image of everything just kind of like falling that was like everything okay yeah all right this has been um not great it's, it's been fun it's not been very successful like I said kind of a clusterfuck of failure um so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this I hope you don't try and take my examples and I hope you will join me for my ongoing battle with Eve I will defeat it um you know, the funny thing was, this was originally going to be um, an SSTO from Eve. Imagine how that would have gone. Anyway, this has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time.